It was Einstein who said, imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's coming attractions. And according to the University of Texas researcher, Lewis Martins, imagination is what will drive business students to create and sustain global trend-setting companies in the future. So the, the ability to strategize um, into the future and then create that trajectory was what was important there. The theme of Martins' new research paper is focused on the need to continue studying how crucial imagination is in business and deciding how to teach students to harness and inject the dynamic power of imagination into their business ideas. And so when a strategist looks at these things, they have to think about not just what is, but what's coming. And that, that part is harder to do than understanding what is and what has been. Martin says it starts with thinking about three time horizons, the past, present, and the future. And he says companies like Tesla, Apple, and Starbucks have and are currently modeling that strategy and imagination very well. He says take Starbucks, for instance. Its CEO was able to not only imagine a future, but also lead its customers straight there. When I was a PhD student uh, a few years ago, um, a cup of coffee was 50 cents. In fact, the expression was uh, that and 50 cents will get you a cup of coffee. Uh, n nobody in the coffee industry imagined a future in which uh, you would have uh, a $2 be a standard price for the smallest cup of coffee, right? Or the fact that people would be willing to pay 6 to $8 for a cup of coffee. And the basic notion that, that drove that imagination was that there was a future possible in which people cared about lifestyle. People cared about luxuries in a low price. So five or six dollars can get you a luxurious experience of very high quality coffee. And that is now woven into the product where, where when you sip a cup of Starbucks, you're not just sipping a cup of coffee. You're sipping a cup of coffee along with all of the romance of coffee that goes with it, with all of the aesthetic of coffee that goes with it. And th that required imagining a future in, that, in which that would be valued. It all started with an idea effort, work ethic, and keen strategy. While a few of those are more difficult to teach someone, like effort and work ethic, there are tools that McCombs' research strategists are using to groom the next business leaders. Tools like analogical reasoning, solving an old problem in a new way, and concept combination. So Starbucks combined a cafe with a bar. And so they were able to identify a big difference between the bar and a cafe is that there is a bartender, produces specialized drinks, knows their customers. Uh, all of these elements were then brought into the barista concept at Starbucks. If you can think it, you can dream it. Combine those two things with imagination and you can imagine the next big thing. So if you look at Howard Schultz and if you look at Steve Jobs, it's not just an issue of insight, but it's also a lot of hard work and method. And, and so we can teach method and we can teach uh, frameworks. Uh, there's a certain element that will always be uh, unexplained uh, and it's sometimes luck, sometimes just an ability to have foresight. But most of the folks that we think of as geniuses uh, may be smart, but equally smart people without a method and without the ethic, work ethic, wouldn't produce the same things. But if you look uh, at what uh, they did, yeah. we, others can do that too. And, and what our argument in this paper is, is that strategists need to spend more time thinking about the imagine, imagined future and bring that into their strategizing rather than just think in terms of the current and the past.